Good day guys, today is a very special day, as you can see I'm going to harvest potatoes. Uh, it used to be um, a very important day for every family. The whole family gathered to the field and harvested the potatoes together because the fields were pretty enormous back then. Uh, this field um, has, if I remember correctly, six uh, varieties. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to start and I hope that you will enjoy uh, this whole like harvest video and uh, potato reveal in the very end. When I was preparing for this day, as you can see, I cut the green paw, the tops of the potatoes, and right now I have uh, like these dried stems that indicate where the bush is sitting. That is the early variety that we planted for early harvest. Some of the bushes are left. And that is the size of the potatoes I'm going to leave um, for the next year. So after the harvesting, I'm going to basically like sort them out for eating purposes, like big ones. And the size, or usually I always leave the size of an egg. That is an ideal potato to plant. And if um, luckily we're going to have like big potatoes, usually I will cut them in half during planting. The size of the potatoes that we're going to leave for next year, of course not this one because that's going to be part of maybe some kind of a nice Belarusian dish. We have only one row, which is like three bushes of a new variety that was given uh, to my mom by her friend. And that is the variety, like what is unusual about it is that it's because it's like some kind of a um, of a purple color. So let's see what we've got. So it's like really, really dark purple. The new one that I bought this year and the blooms uh, with a nice blue color and uh, I don't know what it's going to look like but when I was harvesting it a little bit before it was still like of a relatively medium size something that I wasn't satisfied with but let's see it definitely grew in size Now that is the variety I'm really excited about because whenever we uh, harvested it during the season the potatoes were of enormous size and right now I can see the potato on top and that's already of medium size but it, it's just on top of the, of the soil. Uh, that is the variety I also bought this year and uh, definitely it boasts of incredibly big size uh, depending on the fertility of the soil and perfect conditions and that is the variety that, that I uh, highlighted because that is the only variety from this field that had green tops. Literally I cut the tops 
today. So they are here and of course some of them are dry and some of them are still juicy green. Uh, and that is the variety that was blooming during the entire July and August. That's what we've got from one bush. Some of them are pretty big, like these ones. Some of them are medium and smaller for the seeds. Again, from one bush, uh, almost like the same, but here the sizes are getting bigger. And that is like two bushes. from the third bush but here the sizes are bigger most of the sizes are big the result from one row that includes three bushes And uh, these ones are the two varieties that I bought this year, so they are new for me. I've heard lots of things from um, about them. Uh, that is the variety, um, I'm going to attach the names uh, to, that is the variety which a lot of people grow because it's um, like it grows enormously big um, potatoes. And now I'm going to uh, harvest the varieties that I planted last year and got incredible results. So that is the one which is of Hungarian selection, the one I was talking about a lot. So that is of this nice colour.
At this point, I finished more than a half of the field and I have only two varieties left. This one that I'm going to harvest right now is the variety that actually produced the biggest amount of harvest last year. They're not like of incredibly big size. They are mostly of medium size, but there are so many potatoes uh, that one bush produces. So I suppose that is going to give a lot of harvest right now uh, because the previous, the previous varieties, they were mostly like of uh, being like record size, big size and not many potatoes. So that is almost like one bosquet from three bushes. That's what I was saying. And definitely the size of the potatoes this year is bigger, but there are a lot of, of medium size too. And finally, we are left with only one last remaining variety, which is the variety we've been growing for, for a lot of years. And uh, I, I don't know what to expect from, from this variety. In general, like uh, making the conclusion uh, of uh, everything that I was doing here, I can say that I'm pretty happy with what I've got because um, definitely this year wasn't the best. Uh, and uh, because of the gale that damaged uh, the tops of the potatoes so uh, it still managed to grow pretty nice harvest and I hope that 
with every year it's going to be better and better uh, because the only thing that like I made the conclusion right now is that next year I'm not going to plant them like one row three bushes but one row will be of two bushes uh, and uh, yeah so here when talking about the width of this field I think that I'm going to fit in only two bushes instead of three because it's easier to look after that and it's easier to look after the top so that they wouldn't be damaged by rain by gale or anything of this kind okay let's begin the final touch All right, that is the end result. One variety is missing here because I put it aside in order not to mix with um, everything. So in general, as I said, I'm not going to calculate the total weight. It's just like this visual representation of um, uh, of the result. And I think that even like visually, you can see that uh, this variety uh, definitely killed <laughs> uh, this year and uh, there are so many potatoes. I calculated the amount of bushes I had. I had 30 bushes and that is the amount we go. In comparison, this variety that is next to this one, we had 24 bushes. So it's not like a big difference. Though, as I said, I just love the color of this variety and I love the taste and it also like grows incredibly big sizes. Uh, yeah, so these are the varieties that were planted in really big amount and we go good harvest, but this still remains to be the best for every season. And this year it was even a lot bigger. So it provided incredibly big uh, potatoes. Uh, and I was so surprised to see that because honestly speaking, judging by last year, I didn't know that it should be this big. The variety that I set high hopes for, that is this one, we had only 12 bushes. Uh, the potatoes are definitely great, though um, I still like I haven't tried these potatoes, but a good portion of potatoes were damaged by the mice. I think it's because uh, it's delicious, I don't know, but exactly this variety though, they were like those bushes were close to each other, but these varieties that are not damaged, these are and I don't know what the reason for that. But uh, here we don't like have the result of 12 bushes, I think. Three or four bushes we harvested a little bit earlier and they were of incredible size. Uh, the same like these, these ones are. So I suppose I'm going to take this variety and substitute our old variety with this one because for me they look the same in terms of the color i don't know about the taste but they look the same though the result is better from from this variety to, than uh, this one and also our variety started producing really smaller like potatoes of smaller size here the amount of potatoes of small size is pretty low uh, so and they are going to go as the um, potatoes for seeds in most of the cases it's huge and medium size um, and medium size uh, potatoes that is still also the variety that I will always plant because first of all this is of an early crop and here we have the result from eight or ten bushes which I think is a very great result and we plant it for earlier harvest and that is what was left for the autumn from from that amount it's just just have a look at this it's really incredible the way it can grow um it's it's just of enormous size and uh, the best um and the best thing about that that is uh it is of, of another crop but the thing is i was worried about that it's not going to store well it stores well which is really surprising about uh, early variety so this variety is just for the taste uh we had only three bushes 
the size is really small. I'm not a big fan of this size for sure. I'm not fond of it, but just for the try, I think that we won't like it and we won't plant it anymore. Um, so yeah, and the last variety that is left, that is also the new variety. And uh, for now, I'm like in two minds about whether to continue planting or not. On one hand, it gives nice results but it's mostly like of medium and small size for the planting but i think we should give it a try next year and see what we will produce but in any case like everything i would say like everything depends on the taste because it's not only about whether i like the color whether i like the size it is also about the way it stores and the taste also, I loved uh, these two varieties. This one is, is really good in boiling. It preserves the form and uh, it's really nice. That is really good for frying. So I think that for now I picked every variety for some really nice um, <laughs> methods of cooking. And I just loved them. That's why I planted them this year. The new varieties are still for the taste. And for now, I can't say that any variety that I tasted, they were disgusting in a way all of them are pretty good but i think that last year i was just uh trying to pick more of this variety in order to cook it i don't know it's just was so appealing in the taste for me and i was like basically basically i polished it off pretty early uh yeah so for now that's it and later on i'm going to sort them out uh to take uh the bigger size variety the bigger size potatoes for consumption and smaller ones like this ones for seeds for planting next year the potatoes are sorted out and here you can see the most beautiful ones and uh, these are the ones that are going into um, uh, into the category of consumption that's going to be more than enough believe me uh, it's a law uh, that's why like all the time I'm going like to reduce the amount of potato supply because it's easier to look after them and especially when you calculate uh, according to your needs and they still well till uh, till the spring and everything is perfect and here in the sacks uh, I sorted out the potatoes that uh, are going to be planted next year that's why like I don't have a lot of them so it's basically like of the new varieties I managed to get this amount of uh, of uh, small size potatoes I don't take bigger size and with the potatoes like this one that is in abundance I've got a lot of them here but next year we're going to plant more of this variety because it's uh, more productive the um, most difficult part right now is to actually look for a place for them to store and it's not like we don't have the place the problem is with the mice because uh, even if they manage to get to the potatoes in the soil they will definitely get um, in the storage and they damage the potatoes a lot especially during winter so that's going to be the only problem like looking after the potatoes here and uh, trying to protect it in a way from the mice and today i'm going to have a celebratory dinner dedicated to the end of such a big amount of a big period of time because the potatoes started uh, sprouting really early in spring and they were blooming they were the most like beautiful field that definitely was so captivating i put a lot of my intention into this field of potatoes and i think that i go the harvest that I'd serve for all of the care, um, kind of like investing into this field.